September the 1st, and it's almost as if the tropics know it. Tropical Depression 5 has now formed in the subtropics. That's the far northern part of the Atlantic. We still have Invest now 94 and Invest 91. So there is quite a bit going on right now, but the only cyclone we have, and remember a cyclone is a depression, tropical storm, or a hurricane uh, spinning in the far northern Atlantic here. And it is forecast to become our first hurricane of the 2022 hurricane season. Believe it or not, we have not had a hurricane uh, yet. It could become a hurricane sometime later today or tomorrow and then not really do much. It's going to meander up here and not impact anyone. So by Tuesday of next week, still sitting in the northern Atlantic, potentially as a category one, nearly a cat two hurricane. Invest 91, this one will be a little bit closer to the Caribbean islands by the end of the weekend and early next week. This is on the verge of becoming our next tropical storm. Uh, as well, one, that one up to the north will get Danielle, and if this one becomes a tropical storm, will become Earl, it looks like. It's going to head west-northwest fairly slowly, and by this weekend be here, and then start to make its turn up to the north. Some guidance strengthens this some, but it does not look like it's a United States issue either, and then Invest 94 is way out there. Just a reminder, we went all of August without a tropical system. That is very, very rare, but remember, September is the biggest month for hurricane season, and then October is even sometimes busier than August. I know a lot of people, it's hard to believe, but it does happen. Just to remind you, just because you go in August without a hurricane or a tropical system doesn't mean September and October can't be really busy. 1961 was an example of that. One of the only two seasons we've never had an August storm, but look at this. We got in September and things went nuts. October was nuts. There was two category fives. One was in September and one was in October. So we're far from done with hurricane season. Hopefully September is just as quiet as July and August were, but just because you have a quiet August doesn't necessarily mean your hurricane season can't end active. This was also a neutral state, so not an El Nino or La Nina, but somewhere in the middle. Now in 1997, we also went an entire August without a system. It was a really front end loaded season and then it was dead towards the end of the season, but this was also an El Nino and when we're in El Nino, we typically expect quieter season. So we'll see what this year holds, but um, you know, if the dry air and the dust eventually settle, if the wind shear relaxes, then it would not be surprising if hurricane season picked up. We'll see.